In this tried exercise, we are asked to graph the linear equality y is greater than negative 3x. And the process is essentially the same. The difference with this inequality, uh, or the inequalities that we're looking at in this particular section, and the previous ones is that the y-intercept is 0. It's 0, 0. So it goes to the origin, so we can't test the point 0, 0. That's the only difference. We still just pick a point on either side of the line to test it. We graph the boundary line first, and then we shade the side that yields a true inequality. So step one, graph the boundary line. And that's y equals negative 3x. So we already said, you know, if we plug in x equals 0, you get y equals 0. So we know that the origin is a point. And we can just use the the slope if we want to. It's negative 3. So neg that's negative 3 over 1. So for every 3 we go down, we go 1 to the right. So 1, 2, 3. And you could verify that. I mean, this is a x value of 1. So negative 3 times 1 is negative 3. So it would be 1, negative 3. And then again, 3 down, 1 to the right. You could verify that as 2. That's x equals 2. So negative 3 times 2 is negative 6, which is the point that we're at. Uh, 2, negative 6. So then we just connect the dots with our dashed line. And again, it's dashed because the inequality is non-inclusive. It's strictly greater than, not greater than or equal to. And now we can't use 0, 0 as our point to check. Uh, so we'll use, let's say, negative 1, 0. So the second step is, again, test points. Technically, I only need to test one point, but I always try to test on both sides to make sure I didn't make a mistake. So let's test negative 1, 0. So is 0 greater than negative 3 times negative 1? So is 0 greater than 3? That is a false statement, which indicates that we would want to graph on the other side we would want to shade on the other side of our boundary line. So let's test a point over there. Let's test 1, 0. So is 0 greater than negative 3 times 1? Is 0 greater than negative 3? It is greater than negative 3. 0 is greater than negative 3. So we want to shade on the right-hand side of this line. And we'd shade everything that's on our graph that's on this side of the line. And that is our graph for the inequality y is greater than negative 3x.